Hey guys, this is uh, Kevin and Sarah Shabbat. We're live, and um, the purpose of this live video is to show you guys how to properly calibrate um, the Milwaukee MW500 uh, ORP meter. And so I got my, uh, I used to use Pinpoint, and Pinpoint's a great brand, very good. It's just that, um, you know, constant calibrations with it, and you know, you, you pay money for the calibration fluid, it sometimes gets a little pricey and a little annoying, but uh, I find the Milwaukee brand ORP meters to be a, a lot more simple. Uh, it's very powerful, it's an excellent name brand, and I'm just gonna show you. So I got the Milwaukee ORP meter today. And here is the uh, oxidation reduction potential, the ORP chart. I'm just going to set right here. And so I'm going to show you how to properly calibrate very easily when you get it. So it's, fac it's factory calibrated already. Okay. Come, comes in like that. Here's the ORP probe. And here is the Milwaukee ORP meter. So this reads the oxidation or the negative water which is the negative ions of for example our condom water and so you put the battery in done you can even get an adapter with it it's very awesome so what you do is you go ahead and, and I talked to the guy and the manufacturers of this and they said if you're doing negative you know ORP uh, readings for like Kangen water negative water uh, to read the antioxidants level of antioxidants and the you know, positive, you want to use distilled white vinegar. Not white wine vinegar, not, a, you know, distilled white vinegar. And you get a cup. And the first time you get it, you want to take off the probe, or the cap, probe cap, that protects the, there's a platinum uh, tip on there. And so, when you first get your Milwaukee ORP meter, want to have it soak in white distilled vinegar for 48 hours. You'll never have to do this again. This is the first time you get it. And because this uh, white distilled vinegar has, an, uh, has a pH of like 2.5. But uh, all it has to be is oxidizing uh, any, anything below 3.2. So, and our Kangen water machines actually do produce hypochlorous acid, which um, does produce the 2.5 strong acidic, which is used um, for many different purposes, including cleaning, so it's very oxidizing. However, uh, vinegar, white distilled vinegar for storage purposes for the ORP meter is great, and uh, the, it holds its uh, lower 2.5 pH a little bit longer than the water, which we do store our Kangen water, uh, or our um, 2.5 strong acidic in these bottles and we actually clean our entire home with them. So you store your probe in here for 48 hours. After 48 hours you're good to go and, and how you store it in the cap is you fill it up about a quarter of a way maybe a little bit more than a quarter and you keep it in there and you know just make sure it you know you don't want, you want to make sure it doesn't get cloudy. If it gets cloudy uh, change the vinegar and the reason why is because Vinegar is cheap. <laughs> so, um, you know, you pay 98 cents, you get a giant thing of this. You know, again, it doesn't matter. Vinegar is vinegar. So, yeah, it's definitely easy. There's no solutions or fluids or things you need. It's, it's very simple. And, uh, you know, when you do an ORP um, presentation, when you're testing the, the waters, you know, you just take it out of the cap, maybe soak it in a little bit of 2.5. You always want to keep the uh, platinum tip acidic and that ensures uh, the effectiveness of the ORP meters. And it works really good. So after this has been sitting here for 48 hours, you're ready to go, uh, do your presentations and demonstrations and show people uh, the negative, uh, the negative antiox uh, antioxidant rich Kangen water and how positive you know, all the other conventional water waters are. So after this is done for 48 hours, you just kinda you know, put a little bit of um, white distilled vinegar in here to store it keeps it uh, oxidizing or oxidized and you're ready to go to use it whenever you want. If you look over here, this is uh, Kangen Water's negative 400. Okay, and if you have an idea of negative 200, cod, cod liver oil is a very antioxidant rich uh, liquids, green tea obviously I drink every day, but I actually drink the green tea with Kangen Water. So, 
I, you know, just imagine how antioxidant rich it really is when you do that. And obviously yours neutral, which is zero. And then when you go, and this is not pH, this is ORP, look it up. Um, and as you see, bottled waters, reverse osmosis, distilled, purified bottled waters, even spring water, natural spring water, um, is anywhere from two to 300. You know, you got your soda and sports drinks and your tap water, very oxidizing, which is uh, positive 400. So, um, yeah, so this is also another thing I could be doing. But this is how you properly calibrate. And it's not really, it's, it, it's already factory calibrated, but this is how you, you, you reset it. This is how you keep it, you know, this is how you activate your ORP meter. And this is definitely a great meter to be using to test any type of uh, negative water, any type of antioxidant rich water. And obviously um, your conventional waters, which will show presence of a positive ORP, which is oxidizing, aging, rusting. Anyways, hope you guys are having a great day and uh, see you later.